Black the black the whistle out there, No. Welcome back to My View TV, the people's platform the home of undiluted news, reviews, updates, and your daily dose of entertainment. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. Leave us a comment, like, share, and subscribe. I don't bring nobody forward in your future for me. Everything where you see up my natural talent. Let me tell you something. You see, when you know what to please the audience with, it's simple, me. Father, Father, what go on? Evening time, evening time. Anybody in that group and know that girl, yeah? let me know now. And for the Redders Road man, them, if you can put it out in our next group, or more lines, put it in our next group, we could say if you can get a load on Panda girl, like I hear what I'm now, now. She get bad about her charter. If you got buff, either buff beer or oak beer. And from them left town, look a bit of, look a bit to 12. We now get back by the phone on at all. You understand me? I don't nah, get bad at phone at all. I'm my chopping king alarm. I nah, pick up the car neither. So, here I want to do. Push it out in a one group and make me say we can get the load down on the girl. Or she give me charter. Same like how she dress now. I saw she give the charter. Figure with that OP or buff B. And him take the work. And from them take the work and him left town. We don't hear about nothing from them. Morning, my view. Well, in my estimation, I was not affected um, in no way, shape, or form, bless God. In my estimation, I've seen quite a number of persons coming onto social media and on the news platforms to say, I think it was in St. Thomas, to say that some road or something that they constructed flood out the people in place and they've lost basically everything. I think the government need to do needs to do the right thing for those people and step in and help them to, you know, sort themselves out, get them place cleaned up and replace whatever can be replaced, as well as to fix those areas, whether the drain, whether they say the construction where go and block up or block off, or the construction caused water to now start to be diverted onto their properties. There was one lady in particular. Um, I remember it was St. Thomas and her house um, was flooded out and she kept putting sandbags and stuff by her gate. Them need to sort out those people because I mean you're here living your life quite normally and then they come and build roads and so on and, and now you're displaced basically because you have to go move out of your house because it's not used to you in the state it is. Um, the lights need to be back on because it's affecting so many things. See them breaking our ATM um, the other night because there was no power. I'm sure there's no video footage because whatever backup system is there would not have lasted that long. Um, so the power needs to be back on so communication can take place and business can move as usual. People going to have a lot of spoilage and stuff that are going to have to be burned and or thrown out. So these people, especially the business community, they're going to lose heavily, significantly, and for the persons that lost their homes, whether by landslide, I don't think I've heard of anybody, I don't mean there isn't any, 
landslide, roof gone, house flood out. I think, you know, between the councillors and the MPs, because the government can't, well, they are the government, but, you know, you know, they're going to come and ball for Andrew, but Andrew can't do everything. So the councillors and the MPs now need to be on the ground, on the streets, going around, seeing, you know, what is happening with persons. Mark you, some of them are them because they are self, you know, because I don't know where they're going to be lost in a certain place far, but nonetheless, they're human beings, they're still affected, see how best you can help them, you know. Top three priorities, that in my estimation. So a very rough, a rough and tedious one. We are hurricane brothers fast. Top three priorities. Why well, I never know if it is. I don't know what to say. It is very rough. Got a country devastated, especially upon the south side. In Clarendon, St. Elizabeth. Westmoreland, a lot of part of Hanover, devastated. St. Thomas, Portland, them parish, them mash up bad. You understand? Me never know what to say. Right now, just a hope and pray for the best for everybody. Yeah. Morning, my view, family and friends, everybody. Now, what me think should be the Top three priority thing them. Well, one of the main thing is electricity. As fast as possible, get back the eh, power up. Because, you know, a lot of, lot of things have to run through the power. For example, communication and the world works. And the second thing, water. Because you know we have to go through daily means of the water. And third thing, infrastructure such as roads. And get the country moving again. And I think what I may, what may say, and I think, I think somebody mentioned it already. I don't remember if it was my view. But we need to build the roads them. Properly, drainage. Drainage are one of the most important thing on a road building because if you're not proper draining, then you know say the road are gonna just damage. Water are gonna settle upon the road. The vehicle and drive upon it because they don't already a half inch, a half inch a, a, a asphalt left on the road. So the vehicle and drive upon it to just dig up. So. We need to make some proper roads, proper drainage, and move forward. Yeah, man, our old people are accountable. Because if they do it and they mash up within two rainfall, they're supposed to do it again and they come out and feed them pocket. This is how we look upon. Good morning, good morning, my view. Good morning, my view family. Um, okay, my reason being for saying that um i think saint elizabeth first and should be prioritized is that from my views reports pictures and videos that i've been getting and other other media Footage, footages I think not because and let me this is let me show this out here not because I am from St. Elizabeth I am the least biased okay I just feel like St. Elizabeth should should pay everybody needs help but St. Elizabeth need to take get more pr pr prioritized being prioritized more because all right then check for instance you have mother her son her daughter her niece her sister that is five different houses where their roof plus a church that they give land to for the church to build there 
all the roof is total when i said total total out of every parish that get it i feel saint elizabeth is the more most devastated and clarendon and montego bay as what i am hearing but more attention more attention and more emphasis need to put into St. Elizabeth. Yeah. All right. If I'm going to start off on my personal emotion, I don't know who are the top, top three. But if I'm going to speak three, I'm going to say Kingston, St. Mary, and St. Bess. You see? Okay, you know, St. Mary and them place, they are the banana place, they are the banana parish that. Sent best, sent best of the breadfruit basket and Kingston, you know, the main place that so yeah. Why am I say Kingston? Remember, you have places remember, you have places in Kingston 20 get damaged in a place like called New Haven, out of Riverton, of a color bed, and people that want aid too. You see, sent best, miss some part in a sent best tear down, like going a Black Riverside, La Kobe, and them look a place. And then place a tear down, I know the farmer, them thing could all blow down, and them thing that you see it so. You know, them are going on the curb. See them likewise with over Portland too. So, yeah, for me say you yeah, help the area, them will help the country. First, they see it, are the people them were most damaged. The people them were, were mostly in need. Like all them house, they want to see tear down and them thing there. Yeah, them people that go on, them people that go on, maximum assistance. You see it. So, yeah, man. Yeah man, I gone just paper roll up now your man in your man. So if now one day like a grand grand son that when I back I hate man. Mm. Man in my view, right now, I don't even know which one of them first. Should I be the first priority? Or the main priority? Because right now, three of them are going bad. Two brothers and one sister, you see me? B are going bad, Dan are going bad, and Elizabeth are going bad right now as we speak. So, I feel the people in them communities they need light and need to can mobilize the way they want to mobilize at night time. You see what I say? So, but I'm more I say fix up mobile first and then you move on to Clarendon and then move on to Elizabeth. You see me? That's what I see it. Probably it can be the opposite way. Or them can split the people you know, in a three fraction. You, know. you see me? Yeah, split them in a tree fraction and get them in the tree areas them to cover the tree areas them at the same time once them have the money for do it. But then again, the government have the money can do it, you know, because they rob up taxpayers' money, you know. Because when I see them I do the money, you know, so just use it up and do what you want do. You see me? Mm -hmm. You don't need to fix one first and then move on to the next. You can split the workers' them money. If you have a hundred workers, you send 35 over this and 35 over this and then the remaining fraction of workers where you have to send them go over this so, and have them work for the thing right across the board. You see me, so everybody get back like same time or within the same time period. You see it? Mm -hmm. well, so you see it, so you do it. You hear that? Um, let me come in on your, your, your message. All right, um, you need to try and look back on all of the video them and the blogs them will come that they my future. Even the prime minister said St. Elizabeth get knocked the worst. And as I'm going to say again, not because it is my birth, birth parish, because I am a very unbiased person. But what I would like, as you say, if them have a hundred people, me think 25 for the Montego Bay, 25 in a Clarendon, and the next 50 in a St. Elizabeth, as some would do it. Reason being, you know, sir, so I'll know me not hear from nobody. I have plenty of family. A matter of fact, my father said the people them. Me not hear from none of them. Them come from round from back Lakovia, Burn Savannah Mountain side, Ronin, in other area. They may not hear from nobody. 
I have my mother side of people them. I heard from no one. My cousin who live at Cayman, same mother which same father is my uncle. I'm not hear from nobody all now. But yet I have friend I have friends and associates in Montego Bay. And, and I've been hearing from them. I've been hearing from them. But yet I can't get a word out. Am I people them? See, see? No, like, no, damn, damn, to go be in some places. Them now get back water. Well, listen, everyone, again. Well, my, my take on this hurricane topic, you know. Really and truly, you know, I'm going to send catch in Spanish to my living. So, I really see nothing going that much around me, but my mom living in St. Mary, and yeah, you know about how she lives in, I guess, you know. And lucky thing it proper, and you know, zinc them well, stable down and well. Well, long firm on them, really, you know, look to be because they're not afraid to know around them, really, you know, yeah, because knowing that they have a bigger brother where the thing they were put out the help on them, they really, said, speak, see, you know, yeah, so look every minute, me have to check on around them, really, yeah, luckily, she said the breeze passed, and well, nothing not, not man, you know, she not, not, not blow that thing, not blow off or anything, like that. mostly. Three and them things that drop down on them later, really, yes. Yeah, but normally still from the south side. Yeah, we know the people them badly affected from the south side here. Yeah, man, Clarendon is where me say Westmoreland, you understand me I say, yeah, Manchester and over them places there. Yeah. So I want to me can ask the government say, see if we can drop in and you know, give the people them a good help in and yeah, car, them deserve it. Yeah, you know, yeah. Otherwise, I'm not really not, not going fully back this side because I'm not telling a lie straight up. Yeah, so that does not mean I say, yeah. Well, I can only go with the areas that I am familiar with, that I've been around, which is Montego Bay, Kingston, and St. Catherine. That's Portmore. Right, because during the storm, especially in Montego Bay, you know, breakings, looting, and all them things they go on. It's like from the storm come is an opportune time for the pure foolishness. Going at the people, them market, tea for them goods, any vulnerable business place with glass, you know, when I have no shutter. You know, them go up on the people them plaza, because you have a lot of plazas that have um, stores that don't have any shutters, you know. right? So they break the glass. Some some draw down shutters are so easy to breach, so all them do them walk with them cutter. When storm and heavy rain really time come, them walk with them tools, you know. Criminals walk with them tools, right? And them cut with them for cut, and them fling up shutter, and them teeth out of them for teeth. You understand? And they use opportune time as well for the crime. You understand? Because they feel like, so, all right, who they want to go to their home or the certain place? Police now go left station. So, what they going to do? All right, they're going to find them enemy, use opportunity, and do what they feel do. Commit them murder and whatever, whatever. You understand? Yeah, Kingston, the same thing. Portmore, oh God, man, that's even worse. All right, so those are the three places that I personally know about. Kingston, Portmore, that are downtown Kingston, Portmore, Montego Bay. Well, family, my take on this thing, I think the top three priority is, of course, check on the elders first and people with disability. That's priority should be priority number one. Then next two next would be running water. Make sure people are running water and then tank. And also electric. Make sure people have light. 
Number three is try to bring back the neighborhood, which is security. But on the other hand, again, knowing some of them police and soldiers, they're not going for the try to line up their pocket and get a thing and a breed of people, girl picnic. But you have to just keep your fingers crossed and hope they do the best. I don't want to stray off of this subject and I'm sorry if you stray off of this subject, but Jeffrey, you know you're 100% right. You know, say in America, on an OSHA website, OSHA website, I find this one. You know, so residential neighborhood, the, 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 um, the, the road has to be at least three inches thick. The road has to be at least three inches thick. For major street, it has to be at least five inches thick. And from freeway, it has to be at least 18 inches thick. Uh, Jamaica, they might use this half an inch and all them fool in this and throw them all, then little tar, then little gravel, then little tar. Them fool in this and if we stop, yeah, the road them is a priority, must. Of the people, the um, areas that are greatly affected by the uh, storm, they should be first priority. I'm here in the States and I'm from St. Anne, and I'm still waiting to hear from my family, but I guess they're okay. Well, for me, and the topic, it's very simple for me. I don't know about nobody. Food are the staff alive. I forget to back St. Elizabeth running. First, Clarendon, Manchester, top three. Because of them feed the nation. So, getting them back running, get the farmer them up back running mean. Fix them out, make sure they're comfortable. Give them the necessary things, start by the crash cap, crop, and get it running again. So, for me, quick and easy, top three. St. Elizabeth, Clarendon, Manchester. Yeah man, sort out the farm of them and get them out back running, get them go back into the field. Sort out them out, make sure they're comfortable. Get them back into the field. We're good again. Cause we can't have the best soil and our plant. That's one of our big problem too. Why I did even stress on Montego Bay because Montego Bay is the tourism and them say it brings in revenue and, and what have you. So that was why why the fishery industry, the the the, the, the bread basket which is Saint Elizabeth and Manchester, and then the to it, it, it tourists whatever you understand that was just. What made that try for but you come and even clear it up better than me, Papa. Wonderful, well said. Right, they said they could have never need a better explanation.